we will have uh, problems on uh, the calculation of uh, leverages so here i will go with the problem number uh, 1 a simple one to start with then we'll go for the advanced ones z company gives you the following information for the year ended for the year ended we have a sales of rupees 10 lakh 50 thousand variable cost 7 lakh 67 thousand fixed cost 75 thousand interest 1 lakh 10 thousand tax at 30 percent calculate all the leverages and interpret the results this is what the problem given so we will work this problem here and we will come to know the impact of the leverages and the interpretation therein. So let me start with the leverages. This is the regular format, this is the regular order you are going to find. Sales, less variable cost, less fixed expenses, less interest, less tax, less preference dividend. So you are going to have some results here. Sales minus variable cost is contribution. Less fixed cost or fixed expenses is EBIT, earning before interest and tax. Less interest will be earnings before tax. Less tax will be earnings after tax. Less preference dividend will be earnings available to equity shareholders. Earnings are we can call it as profits. Profits available to equity shareholders. So I'll go on filling the information. What is there in the problem given? In the problem given we have sales as 10 lakh 50,000. Next we need variable cost. Variable cost is given as 7 lakh 67,000. The result that is the contribution after deducting the variable cost is contribution 2 lakh 83,000. Next less fixed cost or fixed expense given in the problem as 75,000 the result 2,8,000 after deducting we call it as EBIT or we can expand and learn earnings before interest and tax then the next one is the interest interest is given in the problem again the amount 1,10,000 so after deducting interest is going to be called earnings before tax. So the result of EBT is 98,000 that is EBT earning before tax. In the last line of the problem you have 30% tax. So 30% tax to be calculated always on EBT not on the sales, not on contribution, not on EBT. It is always on EBT. So, 30% of EBT. EBT is 98,000 and 30% of that I have calculated. So 29,400. The result is 68,600. The result here is earnings after tax. Then preference dividend. Preference dividend will be there only when the problem it is given or preference shares are there then we have to calculate preference dividend otherwise it is nil. So when it is nil we carry the same amount of uh, EAT that will be EAES that is earnings available to equity shareholders. So this gives the information required for us to calculate the various leverages there are three leverages operating leverage, financial leverage and combined leverage or we can call it as composite leverage or we can also call it as total leverage. So there are three names for this combined, composite as well as the total leverage. So three names are there for combined leverage. So let me try to fill the information here what is connected to operating leverage. You can see the formula here C divided by EBIT. C is contribution, EBIT is earning before interest and tax. I will take that now. 2,83,000 divided by 
8000 rupees. So if you divide, you are going to get 1.36. What is this 1.36? This is 1.36 times. 1.36 times, not in percentage. So 1.36 times. What is the significance of this? The significance of this is 1% change in sales if sales changes by 1% that is we have 10,50 here it increases by 1% then what is the effect of that? So 1% change will happen means it results in 1.36 times change in EBIT. If 1% sales increases, EBIT will increase by 1.36 times. The profit will go more than 1%. It is a good sign for the company or the business. Next, financial leverage. EBIT divided by EBT. EBIT already we have 2 lakh 8000. EBT is earning before tax 98,000. So if we divide, we are going to get a value here as 2.122 times. So here again times not in percentage. So what is the significance of this? We are going to understand here. One percent change in EBIT results in 2.122 times change in EBT. So here 1% increase in EBT, EBIT will give 2.122 times change in EBT. This is also good because 1% here it is more than 1%. It is a good sign. Coming to the combined leverage, there are two types of formula C divided by EBT or we can combine operating leverage into financial leverage. We can do in both the methods. But the first method is the best. C divided by EBT. Answer will be same almost in both the this one. Unless there is a decimals, you are not going to find much of a change. It is going to be same. So C divided by EBT. Or if you are going for this, OL into FL, OL is 1.36, FL is 2.122, you are going to get the same value again. The decimals, small decimal changes may be there, but the result is same. So in both the methods, the answer will be same. What is the implication of Combined leverage or the total leverage is combination of this and this 1% change in sales. So, here it is going to take the operating leverage and the combined the financial leverage combined together. So, 1% change in sales results in 2.887 times change in EBT of the business. So if sales increases by 1%, total effect on EBT will be 2.887. This is also good for the company because it is more than 1%.